Lori Harvey mm. breaking up with Damson. Is that how you say his name? Damn, son. <laughs> That's what I called him when she broke up. I'm like, damn, son. I mean, Lori Harvey. There's nothing to talk about. She? She's 20. She's a young lady. Like, like She's going to get ran through a few more times. That, She's 26. Let her live. Like, it's cool. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let her find the person that she's looking for. You know, and let's be honest. Yes. Your stock goes up if you get with Lori Harvey. You don't think so? Not at this point. I, I think I think your stock kind of goes up. I think up her peak was Michael B. Jordan. That was the best she was going to get. But I think your stock goes up because now you're mentioned. Like, you see what I'm saying? Because you're with her. Mm -mm. But that's just my opinion. She has a pattern of jumping from dude to dude. So, you know, with that being said, the next dude, if he's smart, he knows he's not going to be set up to be with her long and doesn't make long-term plans with her. I can't I can't ever say what the next relation. The next relationship might be love. Because I can already tell you the end game for Lori Arby. She's going to end up marrying a white man. I already know that. I'm calling it right now. What's right today? Now. Yeah, we'll November like 11th. Because he's Saturday. not going to care about all the bodies. Yeah, he ain't going to care. He's like, I'm going to love you anyway, Lori. I, Golly gee. Y'all know I don't really. The body. The body. Talk no, I mean, it's, like, Holly, it's the public. It's only because it's publicized. Yeah, it's only it publicized, wasn't publicized. But she's going to end up marrying it. a white dude when it's all said and that done. That body talk. It. it Especially in this generation, that I don't think it, it should really hold any weight like that. It doesn't. It's reputation. That it, it, it's weight. more. It's more just talk. And that's like, my point. If a woman fucks nothing but niggas in her neighborhood, then everybody's going to think she's ran through. If she spreads her body out, couple here, couple there, couple there, her reputation isn't as bad, even if she has a lot of bodies. Intact, yeah. It's. it's so, ladies, you got to spread the pussy out. You can't have it all concentrated in one section I mean, of I your could, city. I could definitely. The, the, your reputation. That's how your reputation gets if fucked you up. Ran through the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Like, now yeah. everybody in the neighborhood like, thinks you you yeah, ran through you, you the neighborhood jump you, off, and that's the uh, rumors that they're gonna pass to the next part of town. There's always one nigga that's going. Look, oh yeah, there's it's, always it's that cornball. It's always the one that always like, comes so, back to wife up the girl that got jumped off. Always. Niggas I, I, nutted all on her in the hotel room. When you say the I, I don't, there's always that one That guy. one nigga. It's always that one dude, and there will be that one dude for Lori Harvey. It's always one guy. But they don't it's look like Lori Harvey out in here the now. situations you're talking about. It's somebody for everybody out here. Yeah. They I, wife up jump I don't, I don't. I don't think she goes to the white guys. I, I really don't. I, she'll she, end up there in the we'll end. We'll see. We'll see. Because you forget who her mom is. She's giving her all the game. She's like, I, remember, I, if Michael B. Jordan gets locked up, go fuck his cousin. <laughs> you know, she putting her on the game. Women need to survive, not necessarily the right game. I mean. Watch, Lori's going to piss off Dr. Umar when it's all said and done. In these streets, this game has no mercy. You have yeah. to play to win at all times. Watch. Until you get, until you get, uh, until you get out of it. You got to play the winner all times. They said the split was amicable, though. I'm sure. Hey, yo, that's how you know you break up with people when you check their social media and see the person they're with is no longer in there like followers. But I, I don't like because I think we've had this discussion before. Black people have a hard time just, you know, breaking up and being cool with each other. See that? that I, I, oh, had, yeah. We, well, <laughs> we've had like. I, no, you're right. I can break up with somebody and still be cool with them. I can't. They might have been a decent person. You know, they weren't we just might have. They weren't decent if they broke up with me. <laughs> well, like I, I don't see it like that. Like we might not I just do. have been compatible to be in a relationship. Nope. I said fuck that. Nope. <laughs> if we were in a relationship, then we also we had something that said, "Hey, let's get into a relationship." Maybe that's my flaw. Like maybe I think I could just be friends with everybody after. No, you over. just trying not to let that pussy go. Always want that door to stay open. For that. <laughs> that you always try to keep a little box open. That, I can't that, do that, man. That is so not true. I <laughs> can't do it. So I don't want to deal with none of the women. The door open. Duh. I just uh, y'all. <laughs> prime example. Exactly. How long these prime Amazon Prime boxes been here? Oh, they've been sitting there for quite a bit of time. Prime example. He wants to keep the door open for <laughs> the box. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 
I mean, there ain't nothing here for what? Why are these boxes still here? I'm just, I just, we're cool. And, and Buddha can attest to it. Buddha can attest to. <laughs> Buddha can attest to is chicks that I've been in relationships that we're not any longer together, and we're super cool. Like, mm. and and I'm good with that. I'm not cool with none of my exes. You right, yeah. You you ain't lied about that. Like you, and it's not just one; it's a couple of them. But that's because yeah, like, all my exes. I'm, I'm, I'm not cool, cool with none nigga. of them. Your brother cool as shit, Branson. I know. Uh, and I feel like, why should I be cool with him? I don't have any kids with him. I don't have any. Yeah, I'm a cool ass nigga myself. I know. That's oh, why they want to fuck shit up with you. You kind of cool. Nah, they be like, I, I want to hang with Buddha it, still. Don't I can't fuck it all the way up with you. It's not all about. The, it's not always about the kids either, because it's chicks I dealt with. I don't have kids with that. I'm still cool with. It, it's just but they still they have people, and we just the relationship part didn't work. We were flawed at that time. See, that, that's why I, when I'm done with a woman, I'm done with her because I feel like all she's going to do is hang around and fuck up the next situation. That's how I look at shit. That's why when I'm done with the ex, I cut him off. I don't want her popping up and I'm talking to somebody else and then somebody new got to worry about the other person. No, when you got me, you got me. And when I'm done with you, I'm done with you and it's on to the next. Branch so, is trying to have all the boxes at one time. That's, that's what I'm saying. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just telling you my mindset. That is so You should see that nigga true. over there looking up in the sky like, I'm just. But if I thought like that, then I wouldn't be able to have that box. No, that, no. I know. There, there I is definitely no wouldn't be able to put those to boxes together. Because <laughs> I told you, I think I said this last show. If I break up with somebody and I have no intentions of having a long term situation with them, then if I keep messing with them, all that's left is to accidentally knock them up. That's lit. I'm not going to get them a ring. We're not going to move in together. All that's left is for me to bust a nut in that pussy. But but hold on now. That's what it. If, but what if I'm not smashing? We're just cool. Oh well, then what the fuck are you cool with them for if you're not smashing? What the fuck? I'm just not because <laughs> I'm not smashing like a, a couple of chicks that I'm cool with that we were in a relationship for, but I'm not smashing anymore. Like I, we're just okay. That's throwing me off right there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's like I say. Maybe it's my flaw. Maybe you I just, ain't hear me. You, you're not listening. Shut uh. up. The door is still open for the box. That's, there, uh, there that, no you're missing every fucking you know, everything else he said is irrelevant. The box can still be open. Yeah, Branson got it. more X boxes than Microsoft. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah, well, see, I get where you coming from, but me, I'm the exact opposite. I just don't want a bunch of women that I'm not fucking with no longer I can hanging around. That. Yeah, because yeah, that happens all the time. Next thing you, you know, the new girl. Sabotage. I can understand Who's that, that girl on your page? Why is she leaving that comment? She need to get a life if she's going off of social media. That's oh, what, yeah. like, but if that, like, oh, if, that, if, that yeah. if that's what's going to trigger what's going on, then a, you need a this, life. The, these might not be the people I need to deal with because you know. So if, you're saying if your girl overreacts to social media like that, it's not a healthy relationship, and yes. you should leave. I'm saying that you need to reassess it. That there needs to be some just, time put into things. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just telling you what. If social this happened media, to me, yeah. If if, if, if they're going off of social media, media then they need to be reassessed. To drive her to look at you differently and things of that nature. Oh yeah, of course. Then nah, nah, because okay, I just wanted some backup because that's one of the many reasons I left. A couple of relationships, because and then of, people hit me up with the "Why ain't you fucking with old girl no boy? She seemed like a good girl." Because I got to be arguing with her over who likes my photos on fucking. Oh, hell yeah, no. fuck that! And when I say oh. photos, it ain't even me. It's a picture see, of some food I cooked. See, and see, that is like so. Yeah. Okay. Look, cool. Nah. So that's one of the many hat things that happened in some oh, of my previous like relationships. Said, oh, hell no. You is not getting ready to get mad because some chick liked my photo. I'm not getting ready to get mad because some dude liked your photo. What in the I wouldn't world? do that. What, in, what is what is this world coming that, to? Hey, that's what I be thinking. You see what the shit I had to go what, through. What I'm you just be thinking? You. What's this world what coming to? What is this world coming to? What is this world coming to? Gonna, that's something so small as a click on a picture can cause all holy hell. 
and I've heard of this before. I, that's you know, called you toxic women. Like that. So basically, it's, that's the trait of a toxic dudes woman. Dudes do it too. It's not just women. Dudes that's the act, trait of a toxic person. Too. Then that's sad. a toxic person instigates shit like that on social media. I just need characteristics of a toxic because I've never done that to a woman. I never was like, "Who's all these niggas on your Facebook page?" I've never questioned a woman that's over right, social so only media. Only child shit. I I've had multiple women question me over my social media interactions. Hey, if you're a woman watching this because I share it on my Facebook page, if you are one of the people that constantly have left likes and comments on any of my status updates, <laughs> just know I've had an argument. That, that dub is single. I've had an argument over some shit you left they that had nothing up. to do with they sex. Broke up. They broke up Dub's happy home. It's your by, fault that Dub is single. That home button. was not that happy if we have an arguments because you liked a photo or some shit I cooked. Hey, yo, one time a girl asked me for a plate. Damn, save me a plate. Who's that bitch? Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I said, that bitch is hungry, and she asked me for a plate. Uh, and if she was in the same state as me, I'd see, give her a plate. And, and see, that's why I don't deal with uh, with women that act like that. Like yeah. I don't, I don't. That possessive, possessive is cool. You know what I'm saying? But that overly jealous stuff. And nah, we're not doing that. Like if it, like you're saying, if it's a plate, you need to be asking to get one. You need mm-hmm. to be asking too. You shouldn't be worried about who who else is trying to get one. You need to be trying to get one too. And if she cooked it, you need to be asking me if she might be able to cook you a plate too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people worry about the complete wrong thing. So I, I understand that. Dub. I've seen social media crash a couple of people's relationships, but I think that's corny. But okay, just I'm just glad somebody agrees with me because that's happened in like three of my relationships. That's corny. Yeah, that, that, that's super corny. That I know is. Buddha think is corny, like it's corny, like if. And then at the age we're at, yes, it happens. <laughs> yes, it happens all the time. 